Tomorrow's an important day for tens of thousands of UAW members across Metro Detroit. Following this weekend's big shakeup in leadership, yesterday UAW President Gary Jones announced he will step aside, taking paid leave as an embezzlement scandal plays out. UAW Vice President Rory Gamble will serve as interim president. Tomorrow, 55,000 Ford workers will begin to vote on the tentative agreement reached between the UAW and Ford. And UAW national contract negotiations with Chrysler are expected to start tomorrow. For the last month, Baghdad has been home to violent and deadly protests. Demonstrators calling for the end of Iraq's current political system. The current system was put in place 16 years ago when Saddam Hussein was removed from power. Here at home, many residents are forming their own demonstrations. At the James Nelson Park off a 15-mile road in Sterling Heights, protesters gathered today to try to bring attention to their situation. Help from the American government or the American people. You know, whatever you can help with, uh, just get our voice out so they hear the people that they have no voice back there. Protesters say the current Iraqi government is corrupt and they're asking for a more earnest form of democracy.